Welcome to an Inside the Pylon draft video breakdown. Today we are going to be looking at two plays that show Kazir White's physicality and power. White, a West Virginia Mountaineer, is someone I have scouted for the 2018 Inside the Pylon draft guide. This first play is taken from West Virginia's 2016 victory over the Iowa State Cyclones. It is a first and 10, with the Mountaineers leading 10-0, defending a first and 10 from the Cyclones' 41-yard line. West Virginia has their typical 3-3-5 personnel on the field, and they're sugaring the D-gap initially. White is lined up over the slot receiver of Iowa State's 1x2 20 personnel offset shotgun formation. The offense runs some sort of RPO, with split run action and a bubble screen incorporated. Whether the quarterback is reading the 2v2 look they have on the perimeter, the crashing inside linebacker, or the 6v7 numbers in the box, he correctly decides to throw the bubble screen on the perimeter. From an offensive standpoint, this play can reasonably be expected to succeed. If the offense can block White, the cornerback is 9 yards away from the play. A nice chunk of yardage should be picked up on the first down. As the ball is thrown out, the receiver goes to execute the crackback block on White. Yet White recognises, pretty much as soon as the football is thrown, that he is about to be blocked. His physicality and power shines. He initiates first contact versus the blocker. He explodes upwards. He fully extends his arm, and then he keeps his outside arm free, using the correct inside-out leverage. The strength of this single arm fully extended, taking on the block, combined with the consistent leg drive and leverage, sees the blocker fall over. This is perfect quick block diagnosis and shedding in the open field. The offence gets what it wants, 7 yards. Perhaps if the cornerback had taken a better angle, you could argue it would have been less. But that's not the point here though. This is a great illustration of how White consistently wins against blockers, be it block shedding or block disrupting. It is at a linebacker level. The second play comes from West Virginia's loss to the Texas Longhorns. WVU has the offense in a second and 15 with the ball at Texas' 31. It's early in the game with 12.33 left in the first quarter and here White's physicality and power sets the tone early. The Mountaineers are in a 3-3-5. The Longhorns are in a 3 times one offset shotgun formation via 10 personnel. White is playing his spur role over the number 2 receiver. The offense runs off their receivers deep designed to clear out space for the check down to the running back. West Virginia, only rushing three, plays a three deep, five under zone coverage. White is in a hook zone. White does brilliantly. He does well to avoid getting caught up in the number two receiver, carrying the route deep enough. He then reacts fast to the check down, flashing great closing speed. And then the physicality and power. As the runner goes to turn up field after making the catch, White makes an excellent hit. He sinks well into it, using natural leverage to explode upwards. His strike point is his near shoulder and peck, with his head well out of the way. This is a legal, fair, clean, powerful hit. It rocks the running back and drops him immediately. Intimidation. In the NFL, White's best fit is as a box cover three safety. Think Keanu Neal or Cam Chancellor. In that role, he would be asked to play a similar hook zone to this one. Teams will try to beat cover three with short underneath routes, such as Mesh. It's important to be able to hit and blow this stuff up. White shows he can on this play. After watching White at the Senior Bowl, I believe his physicality and power makes him the best strong safety in this draft. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content. Also, check out great football writing at www.insidethepylon.com and follow me on Twitter at Matty F. Brown.